Personally, I don't know any anorexic model, so please stop whining. I'm sick and tired of those fat mummies sitting in the front of their television with their bags of clips saying that my models are too thin. Work out a little bit harder in the gym, please. I know my models do. We use skinny, boy-shaped, white girls to model our products because they make our clothes beautiful. We make the clothes for the cool kids. I don't even want women bigger than size 12 to ruin my clothes. And I know that the fabrics and the clothes are made in conditions that are not ideal. That's a real problem. But you do buy them. Do you really think you can help those Bangladeshis with your speeches about morals if you keep on buying those cheap skirts? What you just saw was not made up. These are real quotes from people that run the fashion industry. This is an industry that helped build the myth that a woman's value depends entirely on how she looks and what she wears. This leaves women unhappy and obsessed with their bodies. It also makes them lose their self-esteem. We do not want the fashion industry to set the standards for us. We'll make our own standards and together we can change the rules. So let's tear down the walls that separate women of different colors, different faiths, and different sizes. It is perfectly feasible to make clothes that fit the needs of women. Clothes that are comfortable, practical, and easy to wear. Clothes that can last for years. Clothes that are made by people working in decent and fair conditions. To change the fashion industry, we need your help. We cannot depend on the banks that are part of the problem. So join the movement that redefines the rules.